Well, United overtake PSG onto the Hoyland race. You know, PSG is one of those teams that are going to lose Kylian Mbappe and they're looking at Rasmus Hoyland as one of those targets that can come in through and obviously take it to the next level. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're only watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. We are talking Anton Martial returning to training and obviously a shock transfer of the French international. And we call it up with Pelestri revealing to us the results that he got from his chat with Eric Ten Hag. So let's see close to how many likes, 300 likes, watch this video and don't forget to subscribe so that we hit 15,000 subscribers before the end of this month. And remember, we are left with only and only seven days to hit that milestone. So Rokan David is my name, you can also call me RD and let's start, let's start off with Fabrizio Romano coming in through and obviously revealing to us the following that United are ahead of PSG in the race to sign Rasmus Hoyland as the club already have a contractual agreement with the player which gives United priority. The week ahead is important and sources are optimistic. So this shows you that PSG are behind Man United in the race to sign Rasmus Hoyland and it's coming in from a tier one journalist known as Fabrizio Romano and if I told you, you know what Fabrizio Romano is all about he's really credible and he's the one who told us that this week United are preparing a bid for Rasmus Hoyland now most of you are really worried when you saw to it that Rasmus Hoyland was so much linked to PSG and PSG we are trying to talk to his agents to convince them that he, that he should join them and Rasmus Hoyland has gone ahead and we told them, no, I want to go on and play for Manchester United. You see, if you're Rasmus Hoyland, there is no reason as to why you go to PSG at the age of 20, yet even Kylian Mbappe, who is the best player in the world, arguably now, is leaving. And they've gone ahead to treat him. It's really bad. I said it coming in from Get French News in English, indicating that they've went ahead to harass him that <clears throat> they have threatened him not to even pay him his money if at all he doesn't really put pen to paper so it shows you that psg is not a destination for any player who has a very huge future of becoming <clears throat> a great great player we look at the likes of neymar they had at least played in the in the spanish la liga for some two three seasons and they had won the champions league mm, won the la liga copa del roy and very many others but for Kylian mbappe he played for Monaco and they signed him for like 170 million euros. <laughs> that is it. And ever since then, Kylian Mbappe has been playing for PSG. I think for now it's now like six years because he joined them when he was like 18. So it confirms to us that PSG is not one of those teams that you would like it, a player like Rasmus Hoyland to go in there for you. And remember, <clears throat> Rasmus Hoyland is signed to the Sergi agency that Eric Ten Hag is also signed to. And guess who convinced him to join it? It was Eric Ten Hag. The bond between Rasmus Hoyland and Eric Ten Hag is unbreakable. And don't anticipate the Cody Gakpo situation that we experienced in December last year. You know what happened? It was simple. Cody Gakpo wanted to come to Manchester United under the same agency like Eric Ten Hag <laughs> but guess what United had no money and that played like a big factor that really failed Cody Gakpo to come to Man United as they had gone ahead to agree personal terms in the summer so for Rasmus Hoyland the money is there <clears throat> and United is preparing its bid as soon as possible but the big news is that United have gone ahead to overtake PSG in the race to sign Rasmus Hoyland. Now, Fabrizio Romano has gone ahead and really said, <coughs> understand, Man United are now set to submit first official bids for Rasmus Hoyland next week. This is today, I think. PSG keeps speaking to player side. Man United are set to bid soon. They want to avoid any hijack. Man United agreed personal terms as revealed player prioritizing. Now, it's obviously wise to obviously not say a deal is going to get done before you see the player holding up the shirt of your club because for Rasmus Hoyland it looks like it's one of those deals that you can see in the glass that it's going to come to Manchester United but <clears throat> never say never things can change you know United can beat a bid of 60 million euros and obviously PSG sorry Atalanta 
receive a bid from PSG of like 80 million euros and <clears throat> they would out they would have outbidded Man United but I'm asking myself what has gone ahead to make PSG turn from Goncalo Ramos they wanted to sign last year and then they've gone ahead to turn all their heads onto Rasmus Hoyland who is really not unproven yet yet there is yet there is uh, <laughs> very many other strikers Lusan Vlahovic uh, and very many others that things can go on to and really happen better so for my to my own understanding i believe they have seen that this guy might be the next player that they can groom at psg and obviously see themselves make lots of money like Kylian Mbappe. because if they get in 300 million euros from saudi if at all Kylian Mbappe accepts to go there then they would be they will be having a lot of money so to it that everything really happens on as planned so let's wait and see how that pans out but rasmus hoyland to man united is really so much in the hands of man united and everyone is really positive at man united that the bid they are going to make is really going to be so much positive and most of you don't even know the importance of this bidding war from psg that means united won't go through three process of bidding like they did for mason mount and Rio Nana because if they don't bid exactly what uh, atalanta wants then they'll be providing breeding ground for psg to come and hijack the deal meaning that they have to go out and really put in the best so that is it all coming in from rasmus hoyland to manchester united and now let's do something concerning anton martial remember he got injured in the game of fulham and he never played in the fa cup finale and in the three preseason games we're gonna hate to play he has not featured because he had not started to train with the first team trying to work on his fitness and now <clears throat> we've been told by Laurie Whitwell a United correspondent for the Athletic that Anton Martial is due to return to full training this week United are taking precautions <coughs> sorry about that United are taking precautions due to injury history Eric Ten Hag will only select him when he's convinced of his form so I'm starting to believe that we might not see Anton Martial play any preseason game. That is it. We might not see him play any preseason game because it takes it takes us back to where we were <clears throat> when he returned, and it took him close to one and a half months to really play his first game for Manchester United. And you know that he returned. I think when you're playing which side is it Newcastle? Because he returned even before the international break around 13th of April, and we thought that that weekend of 6th 7th was going to play a very huge part into the game of Man United, but he never played any part and guess what happened he was put into that ilk of really continuing to find himself fit and when he got himself fit Ten Hag brought him on and played until the last game of the season sorry until the second last game of the season that saw him really get injured and it was a hamstring injury so as it stands Eric Ten Hag will not select him until he's convinced of his form now Although it's like that, there are teams in Saudi Arabia that really want to sign Anton Martial and obviously make them theirs on a permanent transfer. And this is a story coming in from at football 11555 coming from Saudi Arabia. An unnamed Saudi club is interested in Martial from Manchester United. That is Anton Martial coming in for you. So as it stands, it's all about Anton Martial tussling it out with the Saudi side, of which I believe Martial won't accept. He won't accept because he believes he still has his future to play in Europe. But uh, I think this is the last chance that Eric Ten Hag is going to give Anton Martial. Just feel it because you can't be such injury prone at that age. 27 years of age, he's turning into a Cavani, you know? He's turning into a Pole Bile Pogba. Though for him, he went ahead to play some good more, some more games than Pauli Bile Pogba because he leveled 30 games a season all round for Man United. But again, it's not enough because at least would have would have appreciated him if he played like 50 games a season because he played like 64 and he went ahead to miss almost half of the games that he played in the season. So that is not good news. But if at all, um, if at all a bid comes in through that is really healthy. I see United forcing him, but I don't see the player really accepting to go. But Saudi is taking over every player because today they've gone ahead 
to make a bid of 300 million euros for Kylian Mbappe. Can you imagine? That is weird money. And you ask yourself, where are these people willing to, where are these people getting all this money? You know, we know they are rich, but in football, there is what we call the financial fair play. And to make it worse, they are willing to give him a deal that would make Kylian Mbappe 700 million euros a year. That is a lot of money. That means if Atoli goes in for that money, he'll be the richest footballer on the planet of Earth alive because we're not going to hate to hit what you call a billion euro. And there is no active football player who has ever going to hate to hit a billion. That is it. So let's wait and see how that pans out. But Anton Martial is back in training this week. And the Saudi side are preparing a bid to sit it at the convince him to come and obviously play for their side. And I think it has to be some huge money that they are planning to get in Anton Martial. Now, lastly, let's... No, this is not This is not the story. The story we are having is all about Facundo Pelestri. <coughs> he has gone ahead to hold talks with Eric Ten Hag. They asked him whether he spoke to Eric Ten Hag and, this, and his answer was, Yes, I spoke with him and we are working together to find the best club, the best option. I hope to be able to play in my position and at my age what you want is to play we want to find the best solution and this is what i love eric ten hag about and these players are really loving him and they are putting in effort after effort you know we look at facundo pelestri at the age of 2021 20, all you want is to play the game of football and enjoy it so i'm not yet certain of certain premier league clubs that are interested in facundo pelestri but i would prefer him to be loaned in the premier league because we are grooming him to become a Premier League player. I'm 100% positive that if he comes in through in the Premier League, he'll obviously tear it off. Even if you go to the LDVZ to FC20, he'll tear it off. Serie A, he will, because he has shown us that he can obviously be that player that can give us the best that we deserve at the club of Manchester United. So to me, I believe Eric Ten Hag and this guy, Facundo Pelestri, we are having the best solution for each other and for the club. But... Ten Hag wants the club to propose a new deal for Facundo Pelestri before he goes to the transfer. And it's supposed to be what we call an improved bid. An improved what? An improved bid of Facundo Pelestri. So we wait and see how that is going to pan out. But I love the player. <coughs> and if at all it was not for the return of Ahmad Diallo, I think Facundo Pelestri was not going to be Learned because he has shown us every time he has been brought on that he can obviously do the needful amidst his low center of gravity. But he's really talented, swift. I like the way he carries the ball, his intensity, his size is not all that huge, but he tries to fight for the ball and shows you his desire and urge to so it that he makes it in this Man United side. So, guys, thank you very much for watching through. Tell me what it's about United overtaking PSG on Hoyland transfer. What do you make about that? And secondly, what are your thoughts about uh, Anton Martial to Saudi Arabia and him returning to training this week? Then lastly, Facundo Pelestri, where does the where does his future lie? I go by the names of Rock and David. I sign out for now. See you later, and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living true God bless you abundantly. And to all my Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Lao Fikum, and we are returning in the next one or two hours to bring you the latest new information as far as this club of Man United is really concerned. So, thank you guys for watching it through. I sign out. Lastly, bye-bye.